Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I'm reviewing the Vibe S1. This is a 55-inch 4K touchscreen with an Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage all built in, making this a game-changing tool for business as well as possibly the way you live your life. And in today's review, we'll be examining the role the S1 plays in the realm of architecture. This is my wife's home office. You see her uh, drafting table as well as her workstation. And the beauty of the Vibe S1 is that it combines the analog and digital tools that she uses and then unlocks even more capability, which you will see through the course of this video. Optionally, you can pick up uh, a webcam for the S1. I highly recommend it. It has AI features that allow you to capture either the entire team in the conference room or a portrait of a single individual in a home office. When it comes to the I.O., we've got a full-size HDMI input as well as a Type-C input that unlocks touchscreen capability, turning any PC into a touchscreen experience, and two more Type-C ports for peripherals. When it comes to the cosmetic design, I think the Vibe team did a great job. This machine looks as good as it works. Optionally, you can get a, a stand as well with locking casters, so if the S1 needs to move, it is ready to go. And don't forget the stylus that's included. This is essentially the cornerstone of how you will interact and operate your S1. Now, the S1 is built on the Vibe OS, which is essentially a derivative of Chromium, which means that even though there is a Vibe app store with approved apps that will work perfectly, you can also jump into the Chrome Web Store or Google Play Store and essentially install any app you choose. So whether you're working or playing content consumption, maybe you want to watch something on HBO or Netflix, maybe you want to play uh, some, you know, throwback games through emulation, the Vibe S1 can do all of that and then some. Now, if an app doesn't work, remember the Vibe team is there to work with you to see if they can get it working, as well as hold your hand through any part of learning how the Vibe S1 works. Maybe you aren't familiar uh, with Chromium as an operating system, in this case, Vibe OS, they will take you through whatever you need to learn. But I can assure you, it's incredibly simple. And the Vibe One app, which is the other cornerstone of the experience, is also incredibly easy to use and it is how you will instantly start a meeting, instantly share uh, a Vibe Canvas experience with your team or with clients. And speaking of sharing things, now you're seeing how the Vibe S1 works using the Vibe Canvas app in conjunction with Microsoft Teams. And this is critical, again, for clients uh, and weekly meetings for my wife when she's working with other architects, uh, engineers, uh, and contractors on different projects. She needs to have the tools to be able to demonstrate things in real time, a lag-free experience where she can essentially chart out whatever she needs to. So whether that's position of a site and how, uh, of course, the sun, wind, traffic in general will correspond to that site, she can instantly sketch that out. If she wants to discuss uh, other elements of geographical location, she can easily do that. And the Vibe Canvas app, which I cannot stress how good it is, it really, this entire platform is built around it as far as I'm concerned. It will be your most used app. It's going to allow you to do something like you're seeing now, which is take a model from Revit and actually actively sketch on it. Granted, this is not inside of Revit. You'll see that later when we connect uh, a ThinkPad to this. But still, this is the sort of thing that most architects wish they could do, but now they actually can using the S1. So whether it's calling out material types, uh, different details, you're going to be able to do that. Not that that's the critical thing you plan on doing, but when working with, again, in those weekly meetings with contractors and wanting to ensure that everyone's on the same page, dimensions are what they are expected to be, codes are enforced and being followed, all of those elements that are involved in taking something from concept, schematic, to eventually getting your construction documents done, this is a critical tool to making sure that that happens and 
that it is an, I would say, a natural experience for the architect and everyone else involved. Essentially, this can be shared anywhere uh, through the Vive app. So it really is just a seamless experience and everything just works as it should. Uh, the shooting star uh, feature inside of the Vive Canvas app is both a favorite of mine as well as my wife's because it's great for presentations as well as showing the way things will flow. Again, as I kept mentioning traffic, that is a great way to look at that specific tool inside of the Canvas and uh, app. And if you want to storyboard things, create charts, you can do all of that. But again, in the realm of architecture, the ability to you know use Photoshop uh, and Adobe in general in order to Acrobat, in this case, in order to take anything from Revit or AutoCAD import that right on it in a quick shareable way so that you can ensure everyone is getting the information that they need that is you know strategic real-time critical information and that is the cornerstone of getting things done let's say you work with an engineer or contractor that lives in AutoCAD even though my wife's work lives in Reddit you can open that up natively on the S1 and get dimensions instantly Maybe you want to get visualizations for clients or again the team during those weekly meetings. Open up Google Earth. Get any sort of site information that would normally you would need to rely on a computer. Here it's instantly attainable. Then as I mentioned before, taking things through the planning phase and creating milestones, well that's where an app like Monday comes in. Again, natively running on this. This is an app my wife uses every single day to make sure that her projects are on time, deadlines are met, and that everyone knows what they need to do. Again, this is something you can easily uh, utilize with the S1. Now let's unlock the real potential of this, which is connecting a computer over the touch input. That is what you just saw me do. Now you're looking at a model in Revit. And the beauty here is that my wife is able to take that Revit model and draw on it, essentially implementing trace paper, the experience of trace paper, because she is drawing on top of that model screen capturing that drawing on top of that model and then she has the ability to instantly share that with the appropriate engineer or contractor giving them again information that is necessary or other architects to facilitate the task at hand this is something that otherwise you may have only dreamed about but it is now realized using the Canvas S1. So that pretty much rounds things out. The S1 is amazing in the world of architecture, even in my world of content creation, storyboarding, uh, essentially making sure that I'm organized, wrangling my ideas creatively, the S1 can do it all. And then when you just want to enjoy content consumption, you have an HDMI input, the world is your oyster. The S1 is an amazing piece of hardware and I highly recommend it. It will change the way you work, and as I stated at the top of the video, possibly the way that you live. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, and as usual, hit that like button and feel free to subscribe. Later.